It means a lot, you see. People with disabilities are not seen as important. So this is a shining light uh, onto the message. There's the messenger, but there's the message. And uh, so it's, a, it's revealing a message. And Lash and Faith and Light, it's a revolution. See, not too long ago, they were put into institutions. They were seen as a shame. Just the story of a Wolf Wolzenberger who fought the closing down of institutions. But even little behind that, they were seen as a punishment from God. Just in the Gospel of John, you have the disciples who meet a man born blind. And the question to Jesus is, why was he born blind? Is it the sins of his parents or his sins? And the reaction of Jesus, no question of sin, is for the work of God be accomplished. So, I mean, it's a real revelation within a few years. And it's a revelation that these people are wonderful people. And if you enter into a relationship with, you, with them, Somehow they're going to change you. We will be changed. This is the 50th anniversary of Lash. And strangely enough, or not strangely enough, this falls on the 50th anniversary. So the fact that it's the 50th anniversary, there's a sort of couronnement, a crowning. But those 50 years, which have been joyful and sometimes painful, uh, uh, there's a fruition, a, a sense of accomplishment a, and a sense of thanksgiving, sense of thanksgiving. It's the message. It's a message about community, it's a message about growth, it's a message about acceptance of who one is, acceptance of people who are different, whatever their culture, whatever their religion, whatever it is, to accept people because each one is a person. And the person is hidden behind the disability, behind the culture, behind the religion. There's you with your secret heart, with all that is beautiful and all that is painful. So, I mean, that is the message.